Hello, welcome. My name is Pru or Pru Luru, and today I'm going to do the Bougie Guru tag. I first saw Karen Harris do this tag, but it actually comes from one of my favorites, and that is Maria at Agape Love Girl. I'll have them both linked down in the description bar below if you'd like to check them out. I really like this lot of questions because I feel like I started out with makeup being really bougie, and then I'm slowly moving into a bit more drugstore products. So I, I just think it's interesting to talk about. There's 11 questions and the first one is, would you rather buy one expensive luxury item or buy several items with the same amount of money? I'm always gonna wanna buy several, amount, several items with the same amount of money. I love a good deal and I love it where you can get a lot of different things. I do like buying like something that's really special and a bit of a luxury. Uh, per se, like this Glan lipstick that comes with a little mirror so you can touch up and yeah it's just like it's pretty boost um so i love buying items like this but i think if i'm just like in the mood to shop i sort of want to get more a bargain i more will buy items like that as a little treat but in general shopping i'm always going to rather buy more things than less things question number two when it comes to beauty products do you believe the phrase you get what you pay for um no i think it's like it's so hard to know <laughs> like ColourPop they are so consistent and so affordable and then there's stuff like Lancome like their eyeshadow is like what are they doing there and some of the lip products <sighs> yeah. but their mascara is amazing I think yeah no I think you can get really good stuff at a really affordable price but you can you know sometimes like paying a little bit extra but you've got to it totally depends on the brand and I think that's why watching reviews on YouTube or having a look at some blogs or you know is it makeup alley stuff like that reading those independent review sites and seeing what people are saying about something but because like if you just buy like for me like the joy a tan lines this was such a disappointing palette it was 34 US dollars I believe which is like pretty it's like a bit pricey for like how shit it was so you just, yeah, you don't always get what you pay for. Number three, what is the most expensive beauty item you've purchased with your own money? Um, I've purchased everything in my collection with my own money. The most expensive thing is maybe, I don't know, it's going in between like the Pat McGrath La Vie and Rose palette. So that is $85 Australian. That probably is like one of my most expensive things actually. I've got like, I can show you a bit of different stuff in like different categories of expensive stuff. In brushes, one of the, my, my most expensive purchases is the Sonia G Worker One brush. This goes for $53 US, which means it's like $70 Australian. But I love this brush for, I don't know, it's just beautiful. I really, I love the feel of it. I love everything about it. It's, it's pretty nice. And lipsticks, I mean the Galan is up there. I've got my Givenchy lipstick. This was a bit pricey. These would be like my most expensive lipsticks that I have. And yeah, <laughs> I think like those are probably to me the items that stand out to me the most in mind. I think about things I really spent a lot of money on. Uh, so one of my all time favorite brushes is the MAC 170. This is 70 to $78 Australian. And I actually now have two of them. I love it that much. No, I ruined this one. I got really into like trying to get the foundation out from the inner part of the brush. I like soaked it a few times and you can see sort of how frayed I have broken down the glue. And I never won. I'm not sure if you can see, but you can see there's still all this foundation down there. And I've asked a few people uh, who use this brush and it's just the way this brush is because it's so densely patched. It's so densely packed that your foundation is going to seep down in there and you just can't wash it well. So I've been trying with my new one to clean it in between, but I think this problem is going to keep happening. Um, like what I've been doing is spraying it and doing this, but the problem is I use such high coverage foundations. They're so heavy. They're not going to get out easily in a wash is what I've discovered and it's not worth ruining my pair of brushes <laughs> it was like a bit of like a uh, random side note and 
then number four what are you willing to buy products at full price or do you usually wait for a sale or discount code i like i like to um i don't know i'm finding now a lot more that my collection is sort of at a point where it's full i am i need to do a declutter soon because it's just there's too much stuff here and i'm really struggling with wanting to bring new things into my collection i kind of have my this is what I call my current box of shame, which is full of parts that I've got no room for and need to I need to film some looks with. So at the moment where I'm at is if it's really special, I'm happy to buy it at full price, but I'm also happy to sort of sit back and wait and watch for things on special. And I do like a good discount code. I like made a list the other day of all the discount codes I could find. I'll see if I can get around to like linking it down below. But, um, I just really wanted to collect like a few different codes from different creators so it was easy to find for different brands. So feel free to have a look in the description bar and see if like that's something that you would like access to as well. Where do you shop for beauty products the most? <laughs> I feel like at the moment it's like Facebook ads is getting to me. It's just like every time it's like Sephora new, I'm like, oh, what's a Sephora have for new? I'm like, it's the same as last time I looked. Uh, but mostly I would go to Trend Mood or Indie Makeup Spotlight on Instagram and just have a look what's out there. If there's anything I'm really excited about. I don't know. I just like haven't been super excited about anything lately. How often do you get your nails and or hair done? I only just got my hair done. The last time I got my hair done was I think in January. So I, I usually get my hair done like yearly maybe i don't know i just i was getting so sick of like last time i got my hair done if you remember i got foils put through it and it just completely fried it so it's actually really nice having just all healthy hair but it's a little bit shorter than i wanted i wanted it like here like she said she was going to go here and i was like oh a little bit shorter than that and then she went like another inch up so it's fine i'm okay with it but I really want it to grow because like if it's if it's not straightened, it's like even like a little bit shorter. I'm a bit horrified. I don't know. I'm like, and thank you so much to all the nice comments you guys have given me about my hair because I am like a bit insecure about it at the moment. Uh, my nails, I've just like kind of been getting to my nails. If you saw I did a like sort of kind of review on the Hollow Taco range and then my friend Chups over on Instagram, I'll link it down below, she told me about Cirque Colours. And I've just been wearing these are so much fun these are thermal, thermal nail polish that goes baby pink when you're warm and dark purple when you're cold and it's kind of fun having like nude nails so I do them myself at the moment on my days off but I find when I've like layered it with glitter like this it's so painful to remove I do like getting my toenails done because I don't have to remove them for work uh, sorry, I am a nurse, so I ha have to have clean nails. I can't go around with no nail polish. So I'm a bit sad. I'll take this off tomorrow and I'll go back to my normal plain nails, which it looks, you know, I'm used to it now. So yeah, uh, not that often. Do you prefer long or short nails? I love long nails and I wish I could live a life that had long nails. Like even like this is like too, too long for work. I have to cut these. It makes me so sad. And I love them when they're like squared off. I don't know, I wish. But no, I will keep on just having short, stubby little nails. Which makeup brush is your favorite? Which makeup brush brand? Oh, which makeup brush brand is your favorite? So I have favorite brushes from different ranges. I mean, like, can I mention my like cat hair brushes? If you haven't seen that video, <laughs> I'll link it up before. Um, they're always hanging out here with me. So for makeup brushes, I don't know, like for me, my favorite brushes to like get into makeup is my favorites are Jessup. I'll link their thing down below and I have the full sets on all of these styles. So it's just kind of hard to show you guys all. If you want to see like a full in depth of my makeup brushes, I can do that. But this is the Jessup brushes. You can get them off eBay and they are super cheap. They're also on AliExpress. They take like a month to get to you. In Australia, we actually have now Australia distributors for us. So it takes like a week to buy them. But this is like, I just bought these the other week. This variety, which is the yeah, bright pink, 
my eco like you know like the bamboo style i really like these i actually bought another set of these for my sister-in-law because she was like how do you do eyeshadow and i was like you need a lot of brushes <laughs> and this is like this fun sparkly one if you watch my videos you see me use the jessa brushes all the time because i really enjoy them and i think they are worth the hype but i also like having luxe brushes too especially for face i find my concealer concealer brush i've got the zovia zoe zoeva concealer brush and i don't think that's any different from like the ones i get from jessup to do concealer it has the same effect but when it comes to foundation application i don't know the mac 170 i just i really love this brush so i don't really have a favorite makeup brush brand um oh yeah i've also got wayne goss his stuff's really good i do like it but Jessup is who I'd recommend if you're looking at trying a new makeup brush band. It's like affordable, easy to get into it and see what kind of styles you like. And then from those cheap brushes, if the brush isn't performing what you like, but you like the size of it, then going there. Oh, and I've got to mention like Morphe. So Morphe have like some really cool small brushes that are hard to find elsewhere and they are really nice. And Nets Makeup Corner has a beautiful video on small makeup brushes for hooded eyes. And I bought like all of her recommendations and she was spot on. So those Morphe brushes are really nice if you've got hooded eyes. Yeah, I don't know. I think like all brands sort of excel in different ways. Like Jessup don't really have any like really small brushes like that. But they are some beautiful blendy crease ones. Beautiful ones to go and make the eye. Yeah, they're nice. Let me know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can talk about brushes for way longer than I thought. Let's see what the next question is. High-end or drugstore mascara? Ugh. I've been trying so hard with the drugstore mascara. I don't like the L'Oreal... Oh, what is that one? Yeah, I do not like the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. It just wasn't anything special. I've got the CoverGirl Clump Crushers I've been using. I think this is nice for like every day. Not too bold like eyeshadow. Like mascara. And I've also got the... I've been trying the... Maybelline the falsies. I think it's okay, it's nice, but Annette got me onto Benefit Bad Girl Bang and I just it's like a drug. Once you start using this, it's so hard to like something else. I do really rate the Longcom Hypnose Mascara, but I think this one costs more than Bad Girl Bang or they're the same price. So yeah. <laughs> um and I do actually have a video comparing all of my mascaras and decluttering some. I'll link it up there if you're interested in checking it out. And I've got new mascara, so I was thinking I could do a new one because my mug of mascara is full again. Think of, all right, number 10, think of your favorite makeup brand. Is it drugstore, high-end, luxury, or indie? I don't think I have a favorite makeup brand. I like trying stuff from all the different brands. I don't know, I just, I have a problem. Uh, like, I think ColourPop is the most consistent and reliable. Yeah, so. For that, they're my favourite, but I love me some Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows. I love a bit of colour. You know, I really love the Kaleidos makeup, like, their eyeshadow palettes. I'm so excited I bought the two new ones that are coming out. I can't wait to play with them. BH Cosmetics can be quite good. I like shit, man. I just, I like a lot. There's not... I wonder, like, if I think about, like, Mecca, what's the brand I always go look at? I always go look at Too Faced, actually. Because their stand's just cute. But it's not like I don't really like fully love this brand. I love their melted matte lipsticks. And like I loved. I love the gingerbread spice palette. This is so beautiful. But yeah. I love a lot of different brands for a lot of different reasons. And I don't have a favourite. I feel like at the moment Kaleidos, if they release anything, I'm buying it though. So is that a favourite? Yeah, probably. 11. Consider your answers to these questions. Do you consider yourself bougie? Uh, like, I think so, yeah. I think it's hard. I mean, the small variety of things I just showed you is probably $400 of makeup, and that's only like a fraction of my makeup collection. Um, so I think I'm bougie. I think I like, but I think when it comes to eyeshadows, I quite like indie brands, but they're still quite, I like eyeshadows that are like mid-range prices. But that does add up after a while. And yeah. I don't know. Do you think I'm bougie? Let me know. 
let me know if you have done this tag already if you're planning to do it comment down below and let me know what your answers are if you don't have a youtube channel answer like the question that you think was most interesting for yourself um and feel free to pass any judgments on me i love hearing your opinions thank you so much for stopping by i really appreciate it Mwah.